What's up, WordPress Warriors? It's Patrick Gallagher here for Grid Pain. It is Saturday evening, April 11th. Uh, I'm going to try and be a little bit quiet because we have a couple little ones sleeping. And I'm going to try and keep the F bombs to a minimum. Uh, though, I don't know, I think it's I think it's probably likely that there's going to be at least a couple. Um, we're going to cover just one main topic today, which is, um, you know, I say it all the time, but it, it doesn't seem to be resonating with most people, and it is, don't be a dick, okay? Um, I started talking about Sridhar uh, when I did the amazingly well-lit video of me in front of the light board a few days ago. Um, Sridhar, I think, probably outside of people that work directly for Oxygen. I'm not aware of anyone that adds more value into the Oxygen community than Sridhar does. And he makes money doing so, so it's not just like out of the kindness of his heart that he makes plugins and themes, and, or not themes, but um, plugins and instruction around, um, around Oxygen and around WordPress um, issues, but there's nobody that I know really that I can think of where people directly ask for like, hey, how do I do this complex thing? And like 24 hours later, he just created an entire comprehensive training around it. And so if you're not a member of his um, training programs and his like recurring monthly uh, deal, you should be. Um, you know, a few days ago, he dropped this uh, Oxygen Undo, which hundreds of people have been asking for for a really long time and now that it's here uh, you got all kinds of people coming out of the woodwork um, really just super professional um, quality individuals who have taken what should just be a, a I don't like the price of this thing so therefore I will not buy it decision and they're saying I do not like the price of this thing and so therefore he is unethical, he is a bad person, he's a greedy asshole. And, um, and they're just wrong. They're just flat out wrong on so many levels. Um, I, I, oh, I just can't even tell you how frustrating this is uh, to see, to observe from the outside. I'm really glad that Sridhar has decided to take two weeks off from supporting uh, the community that relies on him. Many of them rely on him. And Lewis Reingold, who, who built Oxygen and runs Oxygen, has come right out and said, you need to sell this stuff in my group. Sell, sell this stuff in this group all you want. The haters can jump off a bridge or something not particularly friendly. I think the haters should just fuck off. I think they should just ignore it um, and or just, I don't know, do something meaningful with their lives beyond just go, how dare you, how dare you make money right now while people are dying, while these exact same people try to figure out how to convince someone to give them thousands of dollars to develop a website that they probably just copied and pasted countless examples of Sridhar's code um, and other people's work to create this custom website. It's just unbelievable. The people who will question the ethics of someone who gives so much to the community that they rely on. Uh, just, oh, you can tell I'm, I'm not particularly pleased about all of it. And so I'm glad that he's taking some time off. Um, I hope that in that time, the people who have been just just slathering that entire community with feces and toxicity. I hope that they, I hope that they find a better place to be in, um, so that when he comes back and he continues to add infinitely more value than they'll ever create, um, that you know he can get he can get some more useful work done. So I want to give another example of this, which is specific to grid pain. Um, for those of you that are not aware, if you build a website inside of grid pain. Uh, the configurations inside of the WP config file, they say grid pane inside of them because we have all kinds of things around performance and security and, and you know, last press, all, all kinds of things in there that are specific to our stack, that are specific to our scripts, that are specific to all of this intellectual property that we've developed, and they say grid pane. In them, okay, so that if you saw this copied to another host somewhere else, they could go, "Oh, that's that's that came from grid pain. That can probably be safely removed, uh, or or that came from grid pain. We don't use nginx here. We use Apache, so none, none of this stuff's gonna work. Um, whatever it is, okay. Um, we had a customer of ours who very 
uh, blatantly sort of attacked our support and made direct accusations about um, the lack of ethics on our part, um, how greedy we were, like, don't, don't we already pay you enough money, now you're embedding all of these uses of the name grid paint inside your own intellectual property. He threatened to cancel his account. Um, he was just a flat-out dick to our support. Um, and and he questioned our ethics and our integrity and a bunch of other things and said, hey, if you don't change this in 30 days, I'm canceling my account. And this guy had been abrasive for quite a um, number of months. And so I made the executive decision um, to have him become just the fifth person in the history of our company who will be no longer part of, uh, of the, the fun. Um, and uh, I decided to refund some of his money. He's been a customer for a long time, so I'm not refunding all of his money. Um, but I'm going to refund some of his money. And over the next 30 days, which he said, I'm out of here in 30 days, if you don't you know, just hide all of these things, we are going to help him migrate to a new provider, wherever that may be. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he's known for a long time about our options for enterprise and white label and everything else. And he's also supposedly skilled enough to actually just be able to edit a config file. Um, but he didn't even know that that stuff had been in there for a long time. And so I guess here's what I would say. If you don't know, as a grid pain user, that things on grid pain boxes say grid pain, um, they do. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Here's a phenomenal suggestion about how it is that you can prevent your customers from seeing that. Don't let them access their boxes. A good number of our users, even really good WordPress developers, are not qualified to be making direct PHP configuration edits of WP config. So definitely your customers are not qualified to do so. And the fact that this longtime user of ours had no idea that these things are in there probably shows that also your customers don't know that they're in there. And what I will say is that we never talk about who our customers are unless they explicitly tell us that, that we can. And I will also say that there are a number of our clients who have very successful hosting businesses that people think, oh my God, they're so fast and they're so amazing and how'd they do all of that? And it's literally our stuff running on the back end and we don't let a peep out about it. Um, and I will also say that way more of them are not paying for enterprise and are not paying for white label. And they're just they're just obscuring the fact that it's grid paint on the back end from their customers, which they are fully entitled to do. And we will never be outing them. We will never be violating our customers' privacy or their pri their customers' privacy or any of the stupid shit that this particular individual accused us of while he was very, very rude to our support, okay? You do you, connect your with your customers however you want to. I highly recommend, whenever possible, you just only let your customers have access to the minimal amount that they need in order to get things done. And ideally, that's just nothing, okay? I recommend a full white glove sort of care plan service. If they need an account so they can add content, give them an editor account, nothing beyond that. If they have to have WP admin access, cool, do that, but don't give them access to their servers because that's a boneheaded move. Um, and if you want to have a conversation about about enterprise and white label and all these other things, that's fine, but understand that this is all of our intellectual property. And so we're, yeah, it says grid paint on it because we built it, all right? Um, so let's pivot rapidly to uh, the books and uh, Perfect for this context. I highly recommend. I highly recommend that my computer works slowly right now. I highly recommend the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Okay, the title is pretty self-explanatory. Some of the most successful people that I know, and some of the people who have the most emotional bandwidth, like just really deeply empathetic, um, hard on their sleeve type people, they're also really good at the off switch, at just saying, you know what, that's noise that those people are never going to be my customer, those people are toxic, those people are, you know, those people are just playing devil's, get, devil's advocate for the, 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 you know, just to get a rise out of people. There are some people that I know that are just phenomenal at, like, trolls never get to them, that this kind of stuff never touches them. And you have to, you can't just build thick skin, you can't just be emotionally strong, you have to literally be able to, in your brain, just go, all that static 
is just static. And I feel for Sir Harvey because I I struggle with that at times. Um, we had when we ran our LTD um, less than ten days ago, we had people just how dare you? How dare you do the thing that you promised all your users that you would do? And they were never going to be our customers. And quite frankly, I don't care how they feel about it. Us delivering on promises to our customers doesn't kill people due to coronavirus. So that's not a justifiable excuse. We're, we're going to continue to run our business as well as we possibly can so that we can generate as much value and return on investment as we possibly can for every single one of our customers because we are funded by our customers and Sridhar is funded by their customers and most of the people that use our stuff and his stuff are funded by their customers. And so how dare all of you who will accuse and personally attack people and call them greedy and unethical because it's just not the right deal for you, okay? Like, you don't go out of your way to tell people at Ferrari, like, how dare you not make a minivan? Or, like, it's not a car for you. Don't worry about it. Just move the fuck on, okay? So, yeah, um, try if possible let these things roll off your back. Uh, clearly it's not easy. I believe that I've mentioned these before. If I have, I apologize, but I've been reading a ton of them lately, and so if you have kids age three, four, five, six, seven, maybe even eight, depending upon their interest level, these Magic Treehouse books by Mary Pope Osborne, um, they're kids' books, but they do have the upside of there's usually like a scientific component or a historical component, which is actually real. Even when they're riding on the backs of pteranodons uh, or they're traveling to Camelot, there's like a real, actual, you know, teachable moment in every single book. And there's like a thousand of them. So um, I'd go on like thrift books or something like that. Um, I I dig into that. Uh, they're they're good. And if I mentioned them before, I apologize because again. Um, I read a lot of books, and a lot of these, I go, we tear through these. And so our our six-year-old, she's got like 70 of them, and we're reading them all now to our three-year-old. So um, they're, they're top of mind for me. So I apologize if any of this is offensive to you. Um, I apologize if any of this is frustrating to you. What I will say is definitely feel free to have differences of opinion. Feel free to to contact me directly and say, I'm not satisfied about X, Y, and Z. But do not attack my employees. Do not be rude to my employees. Do not question the ethics and the integrity of my employees or me, because that's just a really fast way uh, for me to show you the door. Um, and so uh, customer number five, fifth one in the history of the company, bye-bye. Um, and to the rest of you, hello, good night, stay in, stay safe. Um, I hope you're all well. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.